students will discuss expansion in solids and its types because the basic uh, uh, um, name of this chapter is uh, thermal expansion so basically we will be dealing with the thermal expansion part now we are entering into the thermal expansion part thermal expansion that we will discuss now what is thermal expansion in solids and its various types Thermo basically means heat, expansion means to increase the dimension. That means when you heat any substance, it may be solid, liquid or gas, upon heating, it will gain energy, internal energy is, uh, energy will uh, increase and the substance will uh, expand. In case of a solid, its length might increase, its area might increase, or its volume might expand. So, in case of a solid, because there are three types of solids in terms of its dimension, so the expansion will be of three types. First, I'll write the definition of thermal expansion. Thermal expansion means expansion of a substance due to application of heat. When it is applied, the surface should expand. Now, expansion, thermal expansion in solids. Solids, uh, there are three types of solids. There are three types of thermal expansions. One is, you have a solid like this, which is a one dimensional solid. like uh, a rod, a metal rod is said to be a one dimensional solid because uh, the length is very high compared to very large compared to its thickness, that, uh, that thickness part, the area part is uh, neglected so it is just a straight line and so it is a one dimensional or linear uh, solid, one dimensional solid is like a rod. Second is uh, if you think of a square plate or any plate. In case, in case of a plate, this is a two dimension solid because it has length as well as breadth. So, it is two dimensions. To define this, you have to measure both length and breadth. So, it is two dimension solid. Third type is Suppose the metal slab, it is a three dimensional solid. So basically, we have uh, three types of solids, which is a uh, linear expressed in one dimension, a superficial or aerial object solid. That is expressed with the two dimensions and uh, a bulky object like uh, which is volume or a volume object that is a three dimensional object so which is volume but let me tell you there is no substance in this world which is uh, 1d or 2d all substances are 3d because all substances are even if you think of a line or a point, even that has volume. A point has also volume. It is a sphere. However small the radius may be, but it is a volume. You can find the. So if you draw a line, obviously it is very made up of a lot of points. How can you neglect the thickness of a rod? Even if hair, you that it it is considered as uh, one dimensional, but it has thickness. It is a cylinder. All lines are cylinders. All plates are uh, three dimensional objects. Even a even one paper of your textbook, one sheet, is also a three-dimensional object because it has thickness. It has length, breadth, thickness. Thickness might be very, very small, but you multiply that is not zero. If you multiply that, then you get the volume. 
any substance liquid gas or solid or made up of atoms and molecules we know that atom has volume atom has nucleus atom has electrons revolving around the nucleus we define we find the diameter of the nucleus we find the volume of the nucleus if the nucleus is very tiny not seen even if millions of time millions of uh, times lesser than the volume of a point then all those substances are three dimensional but anyway we'll uh, concentrate and focus our attention to 1d 2d 3d objects in uh, practical purpose we neglect the uh, lowest dimensions compared to the dominating dimensions that is uh, the length is uh, very predominant here compared to the area cross section so that is the reason why we categorize the solid into three types one dimensional solid three dimensional solid and two dimensional solids so in case of a one dimensional solid we'll neglect the area cross section we'll consider this as a straight line in case of a plate like structure the thickness is neglected and the length and breadth have appreciable values so it is considered as two dimensional objects in case of a slab or a brick like structure it has three dimensional structure its length breadth and height the height here plays also a role and it also contributes to the dimensions of the object so that if, if counted it is called 3d just like this okay this is a uh, one uh, dimensional length this is breadth this is the height that also counts so these are all three types of solids okay thank you